<clears throat> hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the carbonate ion, CO3-2-, so here we go. Okay, you got CO3 with a negative 2 charge, alright, and um, in terms of valence electrons brought in, that's going to give us uh, 4 electrons from the carbon plus 3 oxygens, each bringing in 6 electrons and then add two more because of the minus two charge so that's going to give us a total of 24 valence electrons okay and what we do we subtract the largest multiple of eight out of 24 so that's going to be 24 which gives us zero electrons left over and if you notice 24 is eight times three so that means that this structure is going to be an a x3 structure. Alright, so we can go ahead and start to draw it. Carbon is going to be your central atom. So we're going to have carbon in the center with three oxygens. One, two, three. We can go ahead and attach them all with single bonds and then fill in the remaining electrons. Remember, each one of these lines represents two electrons. So there's our 24. Okay, but if you notice, the carbon does not follow the octet rule. There's only six electrons here when there needs to be eight. So what we're going to end up doing is moving one of these pairs and making a double bond. And don't forget to also add in your braces because it's an ion. on the It's got a, it's got a charge, charge particle. So you have to put in the braces, the brackets, and then put the charge up top. Okay, so we chose to make this top oxygen have the double bond on the carbon, but there's nothing to say that it couldn't have been this one or this one, which is what leads you to the uh, resonance structure. So we can go ahead and draw two more structures that will fully describe the Lewis dot structure for the carbonate ion. So now we're going to look at this bottom left oxygen having the double bond. And then we also have to do one more because it could have be could have been any of these three oxygens. So carbon, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Now we're gonna have a double bond here, there, and then the braces. Two minus. Okay, so there's our three resonance structures. Okay. Now next, what we can talk about, um, we can check the formal charges just to be sure. Uh, the formal charge on the uh, carbon is going to be number of valence brought in which is four electrons minus number of bonds one two three four remember double bonds count as two so that's minus four bonds minus number of non-bonding electrons and there's zero of those it's overall formal charge of zero uh, the formal charge we can do this of the oxygens that have a single bond so O sub one um, there's six valence brought in minus two four six um, non-bonding electrons minus one bond on each of those gives us a minus one but remember that's times two because there's two oxygens with single bonds alright and then we can check the formal charge on the oxygen with a double bond O sub two and that's going to be this one up top here here or here and that's going to be six valence brought in minus um, two bonds there and then minus four non-bonding electrons which is zero. So if you add up all these, it's going to give you an overall ch formal charge of negative two, which is what matches the charge of the ion up here, which is what you're looking for, so that's good. That's what we need, okay? Now we can talk about the shape, um, because it's AX3, one central atom with three surrounding atoms, that's going to be a uh, um, trigonal planar shape, okay? The uh, bond angle for this uh, molecule is going to be 120 degrees in between here, here, and here. All right. Um, in terms of hybridization, it's going to require sp2 hybrid orbitals because there's one, two, three bonding sites. So spp, sp2. So that's your hybridization. And then finally, it's going to be non-polar because the oxygens are all going to pull on the charge equally in this compound, thus uh, distributing the charge equally across the entire compound. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.